Worcester, Massachusetts tornado. The Worcester tornado may not have been anything meteorologically particularly special except for where it occurred and that the fact that violent tornadoes are, are fairly rare in New England. And here's one that kills more than 90 people. In addition to the 94 deaths, over 1,200 were injured, 10,000 left homeless, and there was $52 million in damage, which translates to about $349 million today. There was really no mention of tornadoes in the public forecast that day, but there was a severe thunderstorm watch that had been issued. It wasn't a tornado watch, but it was the first severe thunderstorm watch that it was ever issued for New England. You know, now, if we have a big tornado that occurs any place in the United States, you know, we've, got a, we've got automated systems that communicate the warning messages to people. But back in the early 1950s, even if a forecaster made a forecast, it was still a lot of work to get that message out to people so they could respond. This tornado pointed out the real need for a national network of radars, and that really began to be established by 1957. Well-known tornado researcher Howie Bluestein was five years old and living in Boston at the time. I remember being outside and I was playing, and my mother called me to come inside the house. She said, well, there's a tornado and you, you have to come in, and, and I was a little bit upset. I remember the sky being a strange yellow color, and things were just not quite the way they usually are. And then, of course, I heard about the Worcester tornado, and it's always been a, a main event in the back of my mind, a big memory 